Alright, what is up you beautiful people and welcome back to another Feature Friday. Today we'll be showcasing the game called Mecha Bellum. If you guys have seen it on stream recently, you guys will probably know all about it, but uh, long story short, it is kind of like Direct Strike. It's like an auto battler style. So we're just going to jump into a 1v1 match here. Uh, all your units, let's look at our units here. We have uh, lots of mechanized units here. Uh, this is basically a Void Ray. You guys will get to see these guys in action here. I'm probably going to lose. This game is very, very punishing. So if you, if you fall behind, like... It's game. You're probably just gonna like snowball into the ground and die. Um, so yeah, Mecha Bellum uh, has a lot of promise. I don't like the fact that it's very hard to come back from it. Um, like come back from a loss. I wish there was a few more comeback mechanisms. I guess that's what like the turn cards are supposed to be. So every turn you get to pick some cards. I'll show you guys in a moment. But um, yeah, let's see. Loading in completed. So we first get to pick like a specialist who can do different things. So this is a speed specialist, heavy armor specialist with a bunch of arc like sledgehammers. That could be interesting. That's usually pretty bad though. Uh, quick supply rhino specialist. Rhino specialist kind of sucks. Level one rhino uh, on the th round three. That's really bad. You know what? I will take the heavy armor specialist. So this guy has a lot of extra health on his units. Um, so what is what am I up against here? I'm up against these are basically zerglings, and he's also got some sledgehammers. Okay, well I think I have the exact composition to deal with this. Um, so I'll just put down some sledgehammers here. Put down some arc lights. So arc lights do AOE, and they're more of uh, an anti. They're an anti in like anti swarm kind of unit, but like close range. So let's see. Our staging area can also be on the sides, but only after a little bit. I'm gonna try and un unlock something here. Um, I think I do want to unlock some crawlers because sledgehammer tanks are really bad into crawlers. So you can only recruit a max of two units per round. Um, since these guys have more health, it should be okay. Sledgehammer tanks just they they do AOE, but it, they, they just they just don't attack in the best way. I think this should be good. He's probably gonna put down a few arc lights, or he might he might actually get a flying unit. I don't know. That should be okay. Let's let's do that here. What has he got? He's got more tanks and he's got more crawlers. Um Oh wait, the tanks actually obliterate my crawlers. Um Well Looks like it's gonna be a tank arc light battle here. You know what? If this guy goes for a tank battle, I'm all for it, boys. Um his sledgehammers are completely obliterating mine i can gain heavy armor in my i'm outnumbered um oh my goodness sledgehammers are not very like dps heavy i would say but they are very tanky um the best way to counter them would have been mass crawlers but i think we are in a bad position right now so my left flank actually managed to win but this flank is advancing on my command tower. When they destroy this, it's going to release an EMP. Oh, I never noticed that there's like some like Humvees here, basically. That's so cool. I wish I could actually use these units and like produce them out of a factory. All right, so that's the tower here. I can take their perspective. Um, those are the enemy tanks, by the way. My tanks are over there somewhere. So you can take the unit perspective here. Um, but I'm pretty sure I lose this here. My tanks are destroying their EMP thing, but he just has more tanks than me, so it doesn't really matter if I destroy his thing. The EMP temporarily weakens the enemy tanks, so they basically do no damage, um, but it's very temporary. And my single tank over there, he's trying to get away with his life. Yeah. There we go. I lost that round by a little bit. Uh, heavy Mustang. Strike Specialist, Underground Threat, Missile Specialist. Uh, hmm. What would I do if I'm against this guy? Uh, I could try and strike him in the rear, maybe. Let's try that. Uh, oh my god, what's going on here? Okay. Hmm. So I got completely wiped here. Hmm. I think Steel Balls are actually really good against this guy. So... Maybe I'll summon some of those. So steel balls are basically kind of like super tanky void rays. 
Since he has all of them in the center, maybe I'll just put him here. I'm going to overcharge my Econ here, which means I will actually be taking an uh, L on Econ next round. But the hope is that I actually win this round, so that even if I take an L on the Econ this round, it doesn't really matter. Um, let me upgrade my attack enhancements. Or should I upgrade my health? 15% uh, HP. Ooh, HP used to only be 10%, so I guess they patched that recently. So let's do that. Um, and let's do high mobility. So that's only temporary, though. Uh, Alright. <clears throat> what does he have? Oh, he's got storm collars. No, he's got he's got mustangs. Okay, mustangs are anti air. <clears throat> I need my steel balls to get some healing in though. Uh, the steel balls can counter the the sledgehammers pretty nicely, but I just need to uh, power through. You can see here they are because they they have around as much health as a sledgehammer, but they do way more damage. Uh, so they're basically just like void rays. Uh, I've destroyed the thingy here, so yeah, the steel ball is really good. So a lot of this is very rock paper scissory, so it's kind of punishing if you don't know the matchups. Sledgehammers, I think, are literally just meat shields. They don't really do much, so <clears throat> you don't really want to go all in on sledgehammers. Uh, so now that I have these steel balls here, he's probably going to want to put some like storm collars to like just bombard me. Mass produced sledgehammers, probably not. Giant hunter, probably not. I am actually going to need help to win this round because I have no money because I tapped my resources last round. So I'm going to hit him with a big orbital bombardment. And I think the best thing I can do to win this round is, well, I want to unlock a fortress. I definitely want to unlock a fortress, but I think let's just upgrade this steel ball and then just like put a missile shield. Come here. Come on. I think it has to be fully on your side, which is very annoying. Hello? What do you mean I can't put it down here? That's annoying. What do you mean I can't display this? Uh, uh, I put my steel balls way too forward. Okay, well, then that's a bit of a PP moment. Uh, Upgrade the arc light or upgrade these. Um... Or get another crawler. You know, I'm just gonna get another crawler. I don't think there's any point upgrading right now. So I'll just get some more crawler and deployment here. So what has he done? He has, oh, he's flanking me on the back with some crawlers to try and hit my EMP here, uh, which is a wise decision. I should just get an arc light probably to counter that or a Vulcan. A Vulcan is like a flamethrower boy. Uh, he does have some more of these. I think I do want a Vulcan here. Um. Do I want a Vulcan or a Fortress? I don't know. I'm going to need some help here because this round I'm going to be really weak because I took an Econ dip last round. Um, There we go. Oh, he's got a missile. Oh, that's bad. Hopefully hits the Crawlers there. Okay. Orbital Bombardment. Ooh. -hoo -hoo. So these units are going to go in and snipe my base in the back, which is actually very helpful for, for him because when, when the EMP Blast release, your units basically do no damage. But it doesn't really matter because I finished off all his units by now. So the first round a unit gets deployed on the flank, it uh, takes some time to deploy before it actually like, you know, before it actually like spawns in and starts doing things. But next round it'll be like ready for action right away. So you can see here I'm kind of snowballing on this guy right now. Um, my steel balls just beat up those guys so hard. Uh, I think one arc light is all I need to deal with this, so I can just put one arc light in the back. He has one crawler here. Oh my god! Look, let's go. Look at the crawler that could, the little baby crawler that could. Get him, boys. Oh yeah! Look at him attack with that drill. He's like fisting you with that drill. Yeah, drill down that core. Never mind, he died. There we go. So this guy's getting slammed. The steel balls of death here. Okay, now I get my 800 gold. All right, let's see. Laser strikes. Improved fortress. Uh, mobilize battleship. You know what? I'm gonna mobilize battleship. So these abilities they cost a lot. They also come off cooldown, like you know, over time. But uh, they are worth every dollar. So I'm gonna get an arc light, without a doubt. I'm gonna put it here. Um, I can get another steel ball probably here. Uh, but I cannot. I can unlock the fortress. So now it's available to me. The reason I want the fortress is because the fortress has a shield projector that I really need. I'll upgrade these steel balls because he can counter the steel balls with some storm colors, which are basically just like 
mobile rocket launcher systems. Um, so he's put a shield down. And he's put down an overlord. Oh, I actually have one of these things. I should have called him down. Oh, he called it down on his side. So it's not going to be here forever. I think he called it down on his side. Okay, well, um, that means he's going to win this round. Oh, he bought one and called one down. Oh my god, the mad lad. Okay, so I got to get some Mustangs here. Mustangs and Steel Balls are a good combo. He's going to take this round, and it's probably going to be very punishing. Um, let's see. If I don't destroy his shield generator here, it's going to stay for the next round. Good thing I do destroy it. Um, I am 100% lost here. Oh, he's got some Mustangs here. Interesting. Uh, I think Mustangs can't get completely demolished by these things. Oh my god. So I need some Mustangs behind my Steel Balls. Yeah, that's going to hurt. So the Fortresses are four. I mean, the these Overloads are 400 each. So that's going to hurt a little bit. Uh, range specialist, orbital javelin, photon emission. Um, I'll take an orbital javelin. So the good thing about orbital javelin is it just it just goes right through like any sort of shield. Um, it does take some time to arrive though. Uh, where are my mustangs at? There we go. Let's get those guys here. Uh, put them back here behind my. My guys, so the Mustangs can basically counter an Overlord pretty nicely. I'll get Aerial Specialization. And then I will mobilize an Overlord to strike him on his flank here. So you can't mobilize right on top of the thing. So he's got that. He actually has a Mustang there. Wait, let me, let me, let me replace that. Let's cancel it and then put it down back here. Because you don't want, you don't want your Overlord Battleship to just like get, get clapped as soon as it enters the field. That's not what I want. Um, now the thing is, do I want to upgrade any units here? Hmm. I could upgrade these guys. Upgrading doubles their health, basically. Um, let's do that. I don't know if, I don't think I'm going to go on this round. So let's just end deployment here. Oh my god, he got more overlords. I need more mustangs. Boom! That just nailed the center there. Um, okay. EMP is going to disable his guys here. Uh, the arc lights, I mean, the Mustangs are going to rip these things down from the sky. Probably. Because the Overlord is just its just one big capitalist unit. And the Mustangs will kind of shred it. There we go. Oh, yeah, boys. Okay, I'm going to all in next round. Which means I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to punch my utilities and stuff. Uh, interesting, he decided to go air to counter me. Actually, I think he's dead. Nope, he's not dead. Okay, we got it all in the next round here. Uh, incendiary Bomb, Improved Fortress, Mass Produce Wasp. Um, I'll take Incendiary Bomb here. Um, I'm just going to blow through his uh, his center line here. So it is kind of like a little deployment thing here like that. Um, let's see. Mustangs. I just increased their attack. And then upgrade. Uh, can't upgrade that guy. Okay. So Mustang. Oh, I made a mistake. I should have I should have hit the uh, elite recruitment here. Uh, okay, whatever. We'll live with that mistake. Uh, Mustang, because this this makes the Mustang a level a level two unit, basically right away. Uh, and then I'll hit rapid resupply here. I will hit uh, attack enhancement, and then a shield generator. I'll put a shield generator right here. Okay, we're just going to try and all in this. Let's see what he's got. Oh, he put down some fortresses. The fortress is going to be pretty good. And actually, this is going to protect his units from a missile barrage um, from the fire. He's got heavy Mustangs, improved fortress, giant specialist. Oh, he's a giant specialist. Interesting. I got the strike specialist here, but not really using it. Um, Fortresses are going to be a problem. My steel balls can get through them. Uh, I should probably upgrade the lifesteal energy absorption, but right now I'm just trying to get the Mustangs to shoot through them. I should probably just get some melting points then. Melting points are basically a gigantic void ray. Um, let's see. Ooh. So you can see here the shield blocked most of the damage, but these units are still getting roasted. There we go. Where did his other fortress go? Did it just get melted? 
Um, the fortresses will be pretty good against my Mustangs. Oh my god. He, oh, he put a, he put the other fortress behind me. Ah, interesting. Okay. Well, I'm going to meltate this thing here. I think I can destroy his fortress with what I've got, but it'll be hard. Uh, I all end as well, so that's going to be tough. I don't think I can beat the fortress, actually, with only the Mustangs. Mustangs don't do a lot of damage. And the fortress has a lot of health. Um, so I actually all end a little bit early, but all my all my abilities come up next turn, I think. So that's fine. I'm gonna take a ton of damage here, though. Um, ooh, yikes! That's a lot of damage. Each of those big boys are 400. Um, we're not out of it just yet, though. Uh, haste module. Let's see. Oh, none of my abilities are off cooldown. Okay, but I need the. I don't think I, I don't think any of these increase. Uh, I'll just take a haste module here and I'll put it on, I'll put on this thing. Um, okay, I need more steel balls, I think. Steel ball here. Uh, and I'll need a steel ball to deal with the fortress here. I think a steel ball's by themselves. You got the energy absorption. Should be able to deal with the fortress. Um, and upgrade this steel ball, uh, upgrade this Mustang, I have my permanent upgrades here, only have a hundred left though, let's see, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna put like a little shield dome on here, I think it's, I still have to tap this, cause like, it's like a, it's like a ride or die kind of scenario, but I don't think I can use that for anything. Like a 200 resources. Um, 200 resources. What what difference is it gonna make here? I can in, I can invest it into charge shot. Sure, let's do that. Uh, electromagnetic shot. Uh, yeah, you might. Let's let's do that. That'll make these arc lights basically just CC stuff. Oh my God, he shielded up. Oh my God. Uh, oh no, my steel balls cannot go toe-to-toe -to, -toe to the fortress. That's bad. I think I lose. I just die here. I needed a melting point, actually. The melting point in the back would have just soloed the fortress. Uh, I thought the steel balls would be enough, but I guess the steel balls just aren't, uh, they aren't strong enough. Oh my goodness. Yeah, his fortresses just have too much health. Oh, because he has the tanky fortress. That's what he has. Um, all I have left is this one baby arc light here. It's over. The last stand of the arc light. Ooh. I need some giant slayers. I really needed a melting point. A melting point is like the best giant slayer unit. There we go, boys. Um, as you can see, I guess it is possible to turn it back, but it's like a lot of deep knowledge that you got to have. So if you guys enjoyed this game, be sure to go check it out right now for yourself. It's called Mecha Bellum. Let's get the battlefield here. Uh, but yeah, I need to get a melting point. It's just... I should have got a melting point instead of those steel balls. Like a melting point here and another melting point here. Oh, that would have been good. Um, but I didn't. That's my bad. I think if I, if I got the melting points, I would have just crushed it. So yeah, it's Mecha Bell. It's currently in early access. Hopefully there's more factions in the future and hopefully the game um, can have increased complexity. But yeah, if you guys like it, be sure to leave a like and go check it out for yourself. Until next time, I'll see you guys later. <laughs> In the rear with the gear. The tires, let's light some fires. Need a light. They picked the wrong fight. <laughs>